Hey everybody. There's a spray gun. Boy, that thing's covered in paint and just duck paint particles. And there's an airbrush. There's a Iwata Custom Micron. Six hundred dollars. Well, that's the retail price. Anyway, I'm making some fake blinds. Just cover this cardboard with white and I'm spraying some shadows just to give the impression that might be blinds because I'm going to stick this in the window where right now there's a piece of white cardboard that's crumpled, or not cardboard, but poster board, poster paper. It's crumpled down and everything. It looks like my house is abandoned, but I can't get to it from the studio window because I've got it all blocked off with plywood. So I'm going to pry the the screen off and put this up there when I'm done with it to make it kind of look like it's actually blinds behind the screen but it's just a piece of cardboard that I've that I've painted and I just tape this off and spray a little shadow on the underside of each one it's not that realistic but you know from the street or the sidewalk nobody's gonna know but it's just airbrushed it's just a flat piece of cardboard. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I'm doing. So I, uh, I basically just, uh, go along the bottom edge of this thing. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I had to spend some time cleaning this airbrush because it was so clogged from the the last time I used it which was the fifth of never almost so uh, yeah I didn't get the tape all the way to the end right there dang it so anyway um so once I think I've got enough paint on I pull this off I see it makes a little sh what might be a shadow under each blind. That's probably enough. I'll just peel all this off. So I peel that painter's tape off. And uh, yeah, that see, that'll be up under the, the screen. That, that metal thing. I'll just, I peel it off and I'll just stick another one up there. I can't do it with my with my phone in my hand. Now the paint is curled on me because I pulled it off differently. Okay, now I'm going to stick another one up here. Let's see. Hair and hair. Okay, now. So I've got another piece of tape. So now i got another piece. There's like 25 inches worth. So I have 25 of these stripes to fill in. So... You know, it's therapeutic, you know, and this brush is still clogging pretty badly. But, let's see if I can zoom out, you can see. It's just an opaque color, not, you know, I'm not worried about perfection because this stupid thing is clogging so much. But, a couple of passes. And nobody will ever know, you know? Nobody will ever know that it's just a piece of cardboard. Oh, let's see. Alright, so we pull that one off. See how that one looks. Pretty much the same as all the other ones look. So yeah, I want to put it in the window and... Maybe darken that little line there to make it look like it's a string or something. You know, those strings that you open and close them with. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Vertical video. So that's it. I'm just doing something I have to do. Instead of buying some blinds and put them in there, I just airbrushed some fake blinds and stuck them. I mean, if you're five feet away or more you're not gonna be able to tell 
Here's an interesting abstract painting. Airbrushed. Look at all that texture, man. What is it? I don't even know. And I made it. But anyway, that's kind of weird. Got tons of moon. So I, uh, I don't know which way to spin this. Whatever. I put some vertical shadows and kind of rubbed a little white line over it to make it look like, you know, there, there's actual string uh, hanging over the, each blind. It's quite crude and quick. I mean, I did it in like, you know, five minutes, two minutes, whatever. It's, but from, you know, from six feet away, nobody would have the first clue that that wasn't some blinds with a string over it. So, you know, from, from this far away in a window, that's going to look like blinds because it's got enough irregularity, you know, and mistakes to where it like looks like they're bent a little bit and dirty, hadn't been dusted in a while. Anyway, just thought I'd sh show you the end result. Uh, so that's it. Just poor airbrushing due to clogging. And so it was spitting out paint and I couldn't control it because it would be going long and then it would stop. And I'd pull the lever back and then pfft. So that's what happens when you don't airbrush for four years, five years. 10 years, yeah, so, blinds, it kind of looks like it could be, except for the edges, you know, there's no depth there, but if you didn't see that, uh, so that's it.